Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing the Titan upgraded Clockman from the Skibidi Multiverse. So grab a pencil and paper and let's get started. I'm going to go first up to his head and we'll just draw a circle. And inside this is going to be the main clock face. And then do one more circle just on the inside. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then what we're going to do is create kind of a swirly that comes around. And when I say a swirly, just start in the middle and curve around like that until we reach the edge of that inside circle. And then he has these kind of uh, the numbers, the clock numbers. And so if you want, you can get detailed and do the actual Roman numerals. I'm going to just do a couple of them. Um, not going to be exactly right, uh, just because I'm not, uh, you know, too worried about it right now. Okay, now let's do um, to the right and to the left has these uh, kind of where where would be the cheeks, but they're like these blades. So do a line that comes out on each side, like that, and then curves over on the top of each one and then just bring them down it creates kind of this plate the beginning of the armor it's got very intricate armor so don't worry it's, you can get a little intense but just pause and then keep going do a second one that does the same thing comes a little bit behind it just like that okay now we actually have two more but we're gonna bring them almost straight down off of each side. And then I'm gonna just do a line. So a couple more. Just like that. All right, now down below each of these, we'll do a gradual V shape. And then do another one that's just below it. Okay, now let's go up above the clock face. There's gonna be a little square. And then around that square, we're gonna create this shape. It looks like it starts as a V, but then flat sides and a flat top. Kind of where I would imagine his eyes are. And then on each side, we're gonna create the rest of his head. Just draw a line that comes straight down and then a line that goes straight across, stops in the middle, and then keeps going. And then we'll just do the dome, which is going to be the top of the head, like that. And then some lines that go kind of like the forehead and two lines right through the middle and the top. All right, we've got the head pretty much done. Let's add the kind of clock behind it. So there's going to be another circle, but it's going to be a little behind. So we won't be able to draw the whole circle, but the majority of it. And then in the middle of that, there's just this little kind of tower. And then another circle behind that. Lots of shapes. And then just some dots that come all the way around. All right, then do a square that's going to go around that circle. And then after this square, we'll do another square that goes around that one. So lots of just shapes. Okay, then on that square, we'll come up and we'll just curve to a point on each side. And then inside that little area, we'll just do a half circle shape with a flat bottom and then another circle inside that. Okay, now on each side of the head, there's these two kind of canisters. So what we'll do is we'll start right here and we're gonna curve over and straight down and we'll stop about there. We'll do the same thing on the other side, over and straight down. 
And then for kind of where his ears are, we'll create kind of these canisters that go on each side like that. And then the one behind it just come down a little farther. And then we'll just add in some curved lines there and on the tower ones like that. Same thing on the other side. And then just some dots. All right, let's go back up to that back clock. There's gonna be two points that come up on each side with a little curve. Kind of like little rockets. And then we're gonna do these kind of cones on the back of those. Okay, looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna um, zoom out a little bit now and let's do the arms. So each side is gonna closely mirror each other until we get to the hands. And so first draw on each side this kind of funky diagonal, or not diagonal, triangle looking shape. This is gonna be the beginning of the armor for the arms. And then we're gonna curve off the bottom and down, just like that on each side. Curve in and down, and then a little bit back in. And we'll just curve each one down into this rounded off shape. This is going to be basically the bicep. And then off the top of that triangle piece, we'll curve all the way over and then kind of a little jagged edge and then back in. So all the way over, in. And where that edge came in, just curve it all the way, that it goes all the way across. And then we'll add this kind of very gradual M shape on each one. This is gonna be more armor plates. And then on each bicep, a curve on each side and then a rounded um, L shape on each side. There we go, we've got the biceps done. Let's go ahead and for like his torso, on the inside of the bicep you're gonna curve in on both. And then we'll do more of those little canisters right below. Just like that. And then we'll connect the two with just a very uh, curved, kind of where his belt is. And then let me zoom in. Right here in the middle, this is where it gets a little wild. Start with a big, bigger, I guess, circle. And another one right in the middle. And then I'm gonna do another one below it, but it's gonna be a little behind with a circle in the middle. And then we'll come up and we're gonna do a couple of circles like that. And we're gonna just work our way out. Another circle out here, one in the middle. On the other side, same thing, one in the middle. And I'm gonna add a couple of kind of just triangular type shapes. These will be connecting to the mechanisms. So again, just one step at a time or it gets overwhelming. Some more triangular shapes going the other way. And let's come down with these curved shapes. And then more triangular shapes below that. Looks like I'm kind of running out of room, so we'll leave these here. And let's do some more circles now. So just this outside circle, inside circle. Have them just be um, behind each other. Same thing on the other side.
Okay. Let's go ahead and add some more plates that come behind one of these top circles on each side. And another one there. And let's do some more circles. We'll go here and below it. All this work will pay off, don't worry. Let's do another big circle that comes back here. Actually, I almost have the inside chest done. All right, one more circle up on the top here on each side. Okay, I lied actually, let's do one more on each side. Okay, now a couple of canisters on each side with some lines that go through it. Do the same thing on the other side. Last part of the torso, I'm gonna create a couple of just kind of control panels. It's gonna look like a M, but without the bump in the middle. Another one that's a little wider up above that. A couple of squares in the middle. Do a circle on that side, mix it up. And then a line that comes across and down and then kind of an upside down L shape on both sides. And that'll complete his torso. Okay, let's zoom back out and keep going. All right, up above on the top of each shoulder, there's gonna be these kind of cool blades. So you're gonna curve up with a little bump and then back down and then carve in and create these kind of hooks. And then for the handle, a couple of curves, and I'm gonna make that a little bit 3D. So we're gonna do that three times on each side. So curve, up, I'm gonna have them go behind each other. Down, two spikes, and in. Little curves for the handles. Okay, last one on this side. Spike down, another spike down, curve in, just like that. All right, let's do the other side. Same thing. These are really cool blades. Okay, now up above each arm, each bicep, there's going to be some more plates with some hooks. So, kind of creating that plate, add some circles and a line. Same thing on this other side. The line. Like that. All right, awesome. I'm gonna zoom back out and let's keep going on these arms. So on the left arm first, we're gonna curve down on each side. And we'll stop there because it's gonna start creating this glove. And then on each glove, there are like these gun canisters. So we'll just create these like rounded rectangles and we're gonna do three of them. And we'll just put them kind of right here, equally distant from each other, that are going to connect right here to his arm. A 
Okay. Then the rest of his arm is going to come down. Just like this. And we're going to go into a fist. So on this side, a little bump and a fist. And that bump is going to end up being the thumb. So we'll just draw it like that. And then we'll create these plates on the hand. And just a line like this to kind of finish off that. A couple lines up here for the plates. And up here. And we'll have this arm finished up. That turned out pretty good. Let's go to the other arm. So same thing, we're gonna curve down. This one, he's holding a sword. So we're gonna have him come off to the right a little bit. So we'll create his plated arm that goes down like that. Curve it off. Then for his hand, curve down on each side. And then create the palm, goes like this. We're gonna curve around and up for his thumb. And then we'll create these bumps that will be his fingers holding the blade of the, or not the blade, holding the handle of the sword. The blade, that would be bad. Okay, just like that. And then coming out the bottom, we're gonna do this shape. for the bottom of the sword. Okay, and then come up like that. Okay, let me zoom out here. Now for the sword, we're gonna just do some circles that go around each other. Like that. And then some spikes, kind of like a sun with some little gaps. We'll just go around the entire thing like this. Oh yeah. Now I'm gonna draw this kind of diamond shape. This is gonna be um, right before the blade. Do another one on the outside, like that. And one more that comes up, like that. Now before we do the blade, it has kind of these spiked wing shapes that come out of each side of the sword. So we'll draw those as well. Looking good. All right, let me zoom out a little bit. And what we'll do is, last part of the sword is gonna come straight up like this with a point on both sides. Same thing on the inside. Oh, let me redo that. The point. All right, now we've got his sword. Let's see how he looks so far. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead now and do his legs and we'll have him finished up. So I'll zoom in a little bit here. And he's got a lot of plates on the legs, so we're gonna just roll through them on each side. Where his hips are, we'll just do these spikes that come down. The little belt that kinda comes in here. We'll do a little circle there. And then more. We'll do another one on each side. Went over my line there, I'm gonna redo that. Okay, same thing on the other side. And we'll just keep working our way in. We'll do a, a bigger one here. Bigger one here. Now let's just do 
some circles real quick. This is kind of the armor. So we're just gonna do some circles and then the rest of the armor behind the circles. Okay, so then we'll just do more of these spiked armor plates that come down across one more. And up. There we go. All right. On each side, he's got a couple more of these knives. Let's do those. Those are always cool. Do another one on the other side. All right. Now last, we're gonna move on to his legs. Uh, let me zoom out here. All right, so on each side, we're gonna just curve down. Create little plates on the inside of the leg there. And down. And just follow along. We're gonna kinda do these plates. These armor plates that'll come and create this. This is like the top of the legs. like that okay now we'll do the calves so just create these kind of V shapes at the top of each calf and then we'll just work our way down with more armor out like that same thing on the other side just creating all kinds of these cool armor plated lines for his armor pretty cool stuff okay almost down to the feet. And so we'll just bring this line down like that and in for each foot. And he's got these claws that come out the feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw three of those. And then the top of the foot there. And then we'll just draw some lines to kind of finish up the foot armor, we'll call it. Some plates. Okay. Just like that. Same thing on the other side. We'll do some claws. Okay. Top of the foot. Like that. And this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed drawing the upgraded Titan Clockman from the SkiBD multiverse. Let me zoom out. We can see how we ended up. So there he is. I think he turned out pretty good. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, so you can see my next lessons and I'll see you next time.